Hey, you guys. So I have intuitive messages for this beautiful um, new intuitive piece. I haven't labeled it yet because I feel like once I relay my intuitive messages, then I'll be able to name the piece. I feel like I kind of already labeled the piece online, like about jumping timelines. So that's significant too with this, but I think it has another meaning that's coming um, because I've learned much today. I've had like my epiphanies once I put Anubis in. Okay, Anubis was the last thing. The Egyptian god of the dead, Anubis. Okay, so he's very powerful in this piece. And he actually has, a, as I did some research, he has, because like he's, he has superhuman strength. Okay, like he's, he was in charge of like embalming and that kind of thing too. And like accompanied, accompanied Kings, um, through that death reaper process, which when I read that, because I didn't know much about Anubis, I very much feel like Egyptian roots though are coming out for so many of us ties to that Egypt, Egyptian and Atlantis roots, but like for him to come out when I saw him in the shadows, um, when he came out, it was, it was super powerful. And to see this King, I, if I can get it close enough right here, you know, accompanying him into the afterworld. It was a beautiful, uh, symbolic, um, revelation I had in this piece, which helped guide me to figure out so many other things. Okay. So like, it tells me that we're, we're all connected to these, you want to call them spirit ascended masters. You know, I'm winking and crinkling my eye when I say ascended masters. Yeah. Especially the creative and powerful ones, you know, where we can ascend the limitations of this world of this earthly plane and remember truly, you know, our ancestors, how ancient we are and our magics our power again, because he has superhuman strength, which tells me this soul here has superhuman strength to be able to split a mountain, to split a mountain in two with their light. She is the light by the way. And yeah, oh, I, that just sounds like, oh, okay. Of course she's the light, you know, don't all, like it kind of sounds so cliche. Right. But I'm going to show you how she's the light. There's so many things that come like my, the, so many puzzle pieces have come together for me today. Um, too, once I put in that, uh, that's a vulture. Okay. Vulture. So nothing is wasted, right? That's the vulture spirit. Everything that we learned from the past is helping us today too. Everything's recycled rebirth. That's what the vulture speaks to death, rebirth, death, rebirth, death, rebirth, both came last. Okay. And so then I looked here at this because very much it's a very, I call her a genie in the bottle kind of. All right. But I couldn't understand why my intuitiveness, my gut told me to do it in this form. It looks like, um, I don't know, like a claw, like a hand, like a claw machine. Okay. Like, a like a, when you play the claw machine, like you get a stuffed animal, that video game that real, where you get stuffed animals for the kids. Okay. It looked like that, but that F had to be there in the middle. And I didn't, I thought maybe it stood, stood for fire. So I was going to put flames around her and I thought, Oh no, no, it's not fire. I don't know what it is, but my intuition will eventually figure it out. So I did put a little bit of light yellow in there that, that was needed. And this F is surrounded in gold. And then Another sort, like I went down this rabbit hole where, you know, when I'm creating something intuitively, I'm also guided by spirit to either listen to certain music or actually, um, watch something like, uh, specifically on Netflix or, or Hulu. Okay. And so I was, I was called to, I was called to watch Breaking Bad. I never finished the series to begin with years ago. But I was called to Breaking Bad. And be, I was called to that because I needed to see the periodic table of elements. And 
Spirit needed to show me that in a way that I would see it quickly, fast, right now. You know, how are they going to tune into me? We are connected. So I looked up the F, which is flooring on the periodic a table of elements. And it's it's it kind of blew me away because it's like what they put inside the like the like the halogen light bulb and it's very very light weight you know and so it just merry and it has a it has a weird odor and it's very uh weird odor which a hippie gypsy woman would a weird odor and um very light yellow in color okay so it's with the light that we're breaking this mountain, these two mountains apart. It's with the light, the lightness, the lightness of spirit, the flooring. Look up flooring. It's also atomic number nine. Number nine means something to you. See, like I didn't, I haven't seen who this is. Okay, y'all. Like normally I'm like, oh, I know who this is. This is a piece up for grabs. If this resonates with you, I don't do these all the time. So if this is absolutely resonating with something in your story, yeah. Okay, it's for sale. All right, I'm, I'm letting this one go that way because it's, it's very powerful. I've never channeled Anubis, and when I did, it was, I don't know, like, I get very mad scientist-y like, but, it, but when I'm channeling, it's, it's odd. It's like a roller coaster of craziness, and I just very much felt like, Anubis always in it, the pictures here are just, um, besides the jackal head or whatever, sometimes I see it as a wolf, by the way, not just a dog, not just a jackal, but then these, this, this robing or whatever, this gold right here. And then very much when I was channeling that spirit, I very much felt the energy through my shoulders, like a triangle here from my third eye to my shoulders, strong in the root of the throat. Yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. The full moon in this piece is very, uh, very, very significant too. When, when you look at it closer, there's a man in the moon, um, talking about cycles. Um, I'm relaying these messages on Friday, the 13th, the 13 cycles of the moon. Okay. Um, oh, it's just, there's so many little, uh, elementals coming out too. turtle spirit, a little fae here and a tiger coming out. Tiger fae. Tiger, yeah, and the rabbit, which is this big, big portion right here. The rabbit spirits. Things moving quickly, and now is a lucky time for you. Just very Mediterranean kind of feel with the um, city in the background. Okay, it, it very much reminds me of either Italy or, you know, Greece or something, something there. Okay. Tunisia is coming through. Um, she has leaves on her skirt, beautiful leaves. Like, so her, it's out of like her, I always see this like a little jean material, recycled material, making her own clothes out of nature and natural fabrics. And I mean, cause it's in her hair too. And she's really shocked. <laughs> she's really shocked that she had the power and she's really shocked to see Anubis because it's almost like this mirroring that happens through the moon here. Mirroring like in, in, in there's a tie. There's a connection there with seeing behind the veil when the moon, the moon and an, it's between Anubis and her and it's beautiful. Um, and she's going to see her powers with uh, her light. Not just the darkness. I mean, we go into the darkness, you know, because uh, he's all about to um, mot and weighing the heart with a feather on a scale. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, uh, that's a process that's happening for you, too, you know. And you just, it's just beautiful. Very jungle, too. Very jungle-like here. Um, so much going on with the colors, but it just feels like there's found, there's like waterfalls and a lot of greenery and trees, jungle, jungle scape to forest. Like, so anyways, that's, those are my intuitive messages. I know that was a lot. Um, I do believe after this reading, I'm going to call it atomic number nine. Yeah, it's powerful. Mm-hmm. The Ascended Master with you is Anubis. 
how about claiming that shit? This resonates in your heart. Let's work it out. You know, I do payment plans. I ship internationally as well. Um, this is a beautiful piece of maple burl. I want you to see the back of it. I do my own little custom hanging piece there. Okay, it's gorgeous. Rough edge. Kind of, don't we love the rough edge? Some red, uh, edges are um, straight and smoothed out and some are rough. And I love that. And, that, and the bunny rabbit that way too. Okay. It's in the contrast and the roughness that we learn the most in life. And that's what the vulture teaches us too. Turtle says, slow and steady. Keep going. All right. I love you guys. I mean, also too, like, it's weird that I'm working on two pieces at the same time. And these two are very much connected. Um, and I'm not sure if these two souls actually know each other. Because this one, I'm, I'm not I'm sure who's going to claim it. I'm letting it be open. But these two, I was, I was able to put pieces together by connecting these two together. Like, I know who this is now. Which is fucking awesome. More, more revelation. More synchronicity. Speak, spirit speaking through us. Through our art. Through numbers. Through nature. Through the animals. All of it. Through the songs that we listen to. When we let go of control. Peace and love. Thank you for joining me. Give me some love if you enjoy this today.